Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel. This is my basic journey. I live and travel in my minivan with my dog Joey and we're currently in Gage, New Mexico. There is not much here on the map as far as anything goes. There's a gas station and behind it are some dirt roads that have dispersed camping on them. It's not even uh, sites per se. It's more of like little pullouts on this dirt road, <laughs> which is fine with me. But if you have a bigger rig, you're probably not going to fit here. <laughs> so Joey and I left Las Cruces yesterday, and it's only about an hour and a half from Las Cruces west of there towards Arizona. We are almost to the border of Arizona. I'm getting really excited. Um, if you guys did not know, that is kind of where I'm planning to spend most of my winter. It's going to be my third winter in Arizona, and I'm pretty excited about it. I have a lot of people that I'm excited to meet up with and see again. I just love the little community that is built out there, and uh, it just keeps me wanting to go back. <laughs> so we're headed in that direction, but we're going to be here in Gage, New Mexico for a few days. After I left my dad's house and had to make the trek all the way down here to New Mexico in the first place. I kind of like traveled super fast and it's very expensive to do that. And so I wanted to start traveling a lot slower. Um, since we are so close to Arizona, that is kind of like my end goal, I guess. So yeah, welcome to Gage, New Mexico. We're going to be prepping some vegetables. So I'm actually going to be putting these into three different portions um, and just chopping all of them, getting them down to like cooking size. And then um, two of them I'll be placing in these things, which will go in my cooler. But the other one I'll be having for dinner tonight. Good morning, little baby Joey. Good morning, babies. He's such a good boy. <laughs> oh. Good morning, everybody. So, yesterday was a very chill day. Joey and I woke up probably about, I don't know, almost two hours ago now. I've been working and doing some tech stuff, which is not very exciting. But I haven't even had coffee yet. <laughs> And so I'm going to need to make some coffee, but there's so many trucks driving by right now. Can you guys hear them driving by? But it's Monday now. Yesterday was Sunday, so it was very quiet here. And I only had like a couple people drive by me the entire time I was here. And they didn't even drive down this little dirt road. They just drove by on this main road that the trucks are on right now. So, you know, I think I'm going to leave tomorrow instead of staying a little bit longer just because there's so many trucks. It's not very relaxful, but that's okay. But first, I need to make coffee. So let's go out there and watch all these trucks and make some coffee. <laughs> So I figured today while we're just chilling and I'm drinking my coffee, we could have a little chat about safety. I have a lot of comments, questions, and concerns about safety on my channel, especially being a solo female. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that because honestly, I think I'm the worst person to give advice on this. And the thing is, is I grew up outdoorsy. 
My parents were very big on camping when I was a kid and we used to go to pretty remote locations and go camping all the time. And so I'm used to it. I'm used to being out here. I also think that I have a very good judge of character. I feel like I have very good intuition. And if I am ever uncomfortable in any situation, whether it's because of an animal or just the location feels sketchy or there is a sketchy person, I will leave. So I think I'm just used to being out in the wilderness, if that makes sense. I think a lot of these people who are asking me, like, aren't you afraid to be out there alone? Or what do you do to feel safer when you're out there alone? But the reality is, is like, I felt safe out here before I came out here, if that makes sense. And I think that's where a lot of people get these fears. It's the fear of the unfamiliar, where you're not used to being out in the middle of nowhere right? I can count on one hand the amount of times where I've been uncomfortable enough to like move. But that is the privilege of living in a vehicle, right? Is that if you ever feel uncomfortable, if you don't feel safe somewhere, you can move. And the cool thing about this lifestyle is you don't have to do it like me. If you don't feel comfortable coming out here on BLM lands where there's literally nobody for miles, you don't have to do that. You can totally go stay in cities and stay in towns and I mean I know a lot of people enjoy the urban dwelling kind of thing but I feel less safe doing that than being out here in the middle of nowhere with nobody around me. So yeah that's my little safety chat. I know I'm not the best person to give advice on that so I don't know. I would just say go with your gut feeling. I feel like I have really good intuition and I just act on that. So if I feel uncomfortable in any way, I just leave. And I feel like that's what you should go on every single time. If you feel more comfortable putting two chairs out, do that. If you feel more comfortable putting men's boots out, do that. I don't know, I would just really tighten up your intuition. And if you ever feel uncomfortable in anywhere, any place, with anybody, just leave. That's all I can say. And, uh, yeah. Safety chats with Chantal. Joey, were we working all day? It's almost four o'clock already. It means it's almost dinner time already. We just worked the whole day away. We got a lot of editing done, though, didn't we? Good good boy, huh? Well, it is almost four o'clock in the afternoon and the trucks are still going at it. We just got done editing. Um, I just have a couple more things to do and then exporting. But we are done working finally. The whole day kind of escaped me. Um, so now I'm gonna make some dinner. Uh, tonight we're gonna be having like a cheesy broccoli rice. I'm excited about it. it sounds really good we have some diet cheese and then some of the vegetables that you saw me prep the other day but this is where I'm gonna end this vlog I have some cleaning up to do and then we're going to be leaving tomorrow and I'm gonna be making it into Arizona I am so excited because I'm gonna be spending most of my winter in Arizona it's my favorite place to be for the winter and I'm just excited to spend more time there because I feel like I never have enough time whenever I go there so this time I gave myself an extra like four weeks to be in Arizona I'm very excited about it it's gonna be happening starting tomorrow so this is where I have to end this and I will see you guys in the next video so thank you so much for watching if you like this please give it a thumbs up if you're new here definitely subscribe below I'll also put a link for my patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel otherwise I'll see you guys in the next one Bye!